Pro-V from BISCO is setting a new standard in provisional restorative technology. BISCO's new line of provisional materials is designed to address the various requirements necessary for creating and replacing provisional restorations. Pro-V Fill is a high viscosity, light cured, packable, temporary composite that can be used to simply create provisional inlay or onlay restorations. It has excellent handling and sculpability characteristics as well as ideal physical properties. The low water sorption help prevent bacterial invasion during temporization and the high flexural strength ensures durability of the restoration with optimal marginal seal. In addition to Pro-V inlay onlay temporary filling material, the Pro-V provisional system comes complete with Pro-V coat, a very unique hydrogel separating agent that seals and protects the dentinal surface, allowing for easy removal and cleanup of the provisional material. Pro-V coat is very easy to apply and also helps prevent the temporary material from bonding to dentin, which makes it ideally suited for the immediate dentin sealing technique. Pro-V coat not only protects the dentin during provisionalization, but also aids in removal of the temporary, leaving a clean internal surface preparation ideal for final cementation. So the question is how do we prevent and the adhesion between the temporary material that is often resin based or even some time between an impression material that would be resin based also and the preparation and again that is a, a very simple answer you need an isolation medium you need a material that can be painted coated over the adhesive coating and that will prevent that interaction well for acrylic provisionals you can use Vaseline, you can use uh, glycerin gel, and um, I think there is a need for a class of material that will allow you to obtain a very predictable protective layer, and uh, such as Pro-V coat is a very interesting material that will certainly uh, be taken into account in the future because it allows a significant isolation between any resin-based material and the preparation. So any resin-based temporary cement, any resin-based maybe impression material, and the preparation itself. And still be a layer that can be maintained during the provisional stage. So that is really a, a significant development. The Pro-V Provisional Restorative System from BISCO allows the clinician to seal the dentin with an adhesive at the preparation appointment, often referred to as immediate dentin sealing. Other names used by the profession include the resin coating technique, creating the hybrid layer, emulating the DEJ, or crown prep desensitization prior to temporization. Immediate dentin sealing has significant biological advantages over non-bonded dentin during temporization. Freshly cut dentin is ideal for dentin bonding. The non-contaminated, freshly prepared dentin surface can be sealed and protected with a bonding agent. Fluid flow within dentinal tubules, bacterial leakage, and contamination from temporary cements are common causes for sensitivity. Sealing dentin prior to temporization also allows the pulp time to heal. By applying the bonding agent immediately following preparation, it promotes the production of a stable hybrid layer. Collapsing of the collagen layer with temporization pressures will cause hydrogen bonds to form between collagen fibrils. Sealing dentin prior to temporization eliminates the additional clinical steps required to rehydrate the collapsed dentin. Allowing the hybrid layer to mature between preparation and cementation step addresses the challenges of polymerization stresses that are placed on the layer during the shrinkage of polymerizing looting cements. Most importantly, the patient will benefit from sealing the dentin at preparation. By eliminating sensitivity during provisionalization, there's no need for anesthesia at final placement. In addition, bonding at final placement will be simplified since the dentin is already sealed and simple enamel bonding protocols can be followed. 
Immediate dentin sealing allows the clinician standardized clinical protocols to optimize the potential for significant seal and adhesion to the dental and enamel substrates. And the first elements, the four first elements of, of that list are related to the bone strength. And we know from the literature that the best dentin bone strength is obtained to a freshly cut dentin. So the question is, when is the dent leaf freshly cut? Well, straight after the tooth has been prepared. And, and that is the first point for applying the adhesive at that specific moment. Another element that will increase the, the bone strength, that would be the second advantage, is the fact that we are able to pre-cure the adhesive resin. And we know that in the process called dentin hybridization, uh, hybrid layer formation, interdiffusion, uh, we are forming this very uh, soft and delicate hybrid layer, which is an interdiffusion zone of collagen and hydrophilic monomers. And that area is, is sensitive to pressure and can collapse very easily when a pressure is applied in the form of a composite increment or a looting process. And those can, can create the collapse of the hybrid layer and the loss of bone strength. So the fact that the adhesive be applied before the impression and can be pre-cured in a, th a significant thickness will allow the hybrid layer to be stable during the insertion of the restoration because it has been pre-cured. So that's another point for a, a stronger bone strength. Then there is a third point in favor of bone strength is the fact that because the dentin has been bonded too earlier in the process, that is before taking impression, when we reach the time of restoration delivery, which is finally going to cause stress on that bond because of the shrinkage of the looting composite, the good news is that this bond has been developed a week earlier, or maybe two weeks earlier, depending how much time your, your lab will need to develop the final restoration. But as long as it is more than 24 hours, research has demonstrated that the delayed application of load to the bond is favorable and is going to maintain that bond in a, in a better way. So delayed loading is inherent to immediate dentin sealing and will allow a better survival of that dentin bond. So, the question is, what bonding agent should I use in the immediate dentin sealing protocol? Any adhesive can seal dentin, but not all adhesives will be compatible with the dual cure or self cure cements used for cementation. Compatibility of simplified adhesives to looting cements is of significant clinical importance. Three step total etch adhesives and two step self etch adhesives are ideally suited for immediate dentin sealing. The chemistry Allbond 3 Total Etch and Allbond SE Self Etch are ideally suited for IDS. When using either a Total Etch or Self Etch adhesive, immediate dentin sealing is a fast and effective technique that provides for highly successful and predictable clinical results. As an example, when choosing a two-step Self Etch adhesive, the following technique should be followed. One, clean preparation and dry. Apply one to two coats of all bond SE1 and two to the preparation, agitating each coat separately for a total of 10 seconds. Air dry, then light cure for 10 seconds. Two, apply one thin coat of all bond SE liner to the preparation. Air thin and light cure for 10 seconds. 3. Block out undercuts with a flowable composite. 4. Redefine the preparation and rebevel enamel margins. 5. Remove the oxygen inhibited layer with an alcohol swab. Take the impression. 6. Apply 1 to 2 coats of Pro V coat to the entire preparation and air dry for 10 to 15 seconds, placing the air tip 8 to 10 centimeters from the surface to avoid air spreading. Seven, create temporary restoration 
using Pro-V Fill, cure in two millimeter increments. Eight, apply Biscover LV. Wait 15 seconds, then light cure for 30 seconds. With the Pro-V Provisional Restoration System and the immediate dentin sealing technique, completing the final restoration is fast and easy. One, simply remove Provisional using a sharp instrument and clean the preparation. Two, etch enamel with Bisco's Uni-Etch for 15 seconds, rinse and dry. Three, apply one to two coats of all bond SE1 and two to the entire preparation and gently air dry, then light cure for 10 seconds. Four, prepare the internal surface of the restoration as recommended by the lab. Proceed with cementation of the final restoration per manufacturer's instructions. Bisco's Pro-V Provisional Restorative System, along with the many advantages of the immediate dentin sealing technique, are the perfect combination for fast, more effective, and reliable provisional inlay and onlay restorations. For more information, contact Bisco at 800 247 3368 or visit bisco.com.